In this video, I'm going to show you how to bind rad grid view for WinForms to a self-referencing hierarchy. As you can see, I've previously created a WinForms application that contains a single rad grid view, and it also contains a class called FileNode, which I'll explain more about in just a minute. So let's take a look at the code behind for our form. As you can see here in the constructor, I'm binding the data source of the rad grid view to the create data method. And if we look at the create data method, it's actually returning a list of file nodes. And inside of this, this method, I'm actually just generating a hierarchy uh, that would simulate what a file structure might look on, like on your uh, computer. As you can see, when each file node is created, it contains an ID, a parent ID, a name, and a type. So for example, the top level node in my hierarchy would be the C drive on my computer. And its parent ID is negative one because it has no parents. And its ID is zero. And then if we look at the second level nodes that I've created, their IDs are all incremental, but their parent IDs are all set to zero, which is the ID of the C drive, meaning that they are children of that particular node. And then if we step into the third level of nodes that I've created, these are just more nodes that are associated with these particular nodes. So for example, uh, the program files node has an ID of one. Well, these three nodes are all incrementing their ID still, but their parent IDs are set to one, meaning that they're all childs of the program files node. And that's pretty much the way it works on down the hierarchy, as deep as you would like to go. So now that we've taken a look at how the data is created for this rad grid view, let's go ahead and run the application and see what happens when we run it. As you can see, I currently don't have a hierarchical grid view as all of the items that I've added to my uh, data source are just listed in a single list. Well, the reason it does this is we actually need to define a relationship that defines the hierarchy and how it works so that our grid view can use it when it's generating all of these different rows. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna close out of the application and let's add a new section of code right here in the constructor. And this is where I'm going to create my relationship. So I'm going to say grid view relation, and we'll just call this relation. We'll create a new instance of it. And as you can see, the constructor takes two grid view templates. It takes a parent template and a child template. Well, since we're going to be creating a self-referencing hierarchy, we're actually going to be using the same template for both of these parameters. So I'm going to say red grid view one dot master template and then we'll say radgridv1.mastertemplate again. And now that we've set that up, we need to define the parent column for this relationship. So I'm gonna say relation.parentcolumnames.add and the parent column will be ID. And now we need to add the child column. So we'll say relation.childcolumnames.add and the child column name will be parent ID because parent ID basically references the ID of a parent column. And then finally, we just need to add our relation to our rad grid view. So I'm gonna say rad grid view one dot relations dot add relation. And now that we've set all this up, we can take a look at the application once more. So I'll go ahead and click the run button. And as you can see, I no longer have that large list of items anymore. I, I now have a plus button though. And if I click this button, it expands into items that are below this particular parent. And if I click on those items, it will expand into them as well. And thus we have created a self-referencing hierarchy. One final step we could take is to remove this ID field and the parent ID from our red grid view. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out and do that now. And I'll just uncomment these two lines. As you can see, I'm just setting the visibility property of the ID column and the parent ID column to false so that they no longer show in the grid view. So I'm gonna click run once more. And as you can see, I no longer have those two columns and I now have a nice clean looking rad grid view that works based on a self-referencing hierarchy. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to bind rad grid view for WinForms to a self-referencing hierarchy. Thanks for watching.